You're going to see some conclusive proof. In fact, you're going to see something most people have never seen before. Through the use of a dark field microscope and video technology, it is now possible to see live blood samples, display them on a monitor, record them on tape. To start out with, I want to show you what normal healthy blood cells look like so that you can identify the unhealthy blood samples you are about to see. This microscopic sample of healthy living blood shows the red blood cells to be round, evenly shaped, and freely floating in plasma. There are no signs of clotting, bacteria, foreign matter, fungal, or stress. This is the kind of blood a healthy person should have flowing through the circulatory system. This is the blood of one of my patients right at the time when he came to see me at the clinic. It, it looks like there's stacks of coins piled against each other. Those are red blood cells. They're not supposed to be like that. They're supposed to be separate from each other, nice and round, floating around the blood, transporting oxygen, and this is not happening here. The blood is so acid that they're trying to protect themselves. So in this person, there's not an adequate transport of the oxygen. You see these little dots in the background? These are bacteria in the blood. We are not sterile. In this particular person, the bacteria levels are way above normal. These dark spots here in the background are pieces of cholesterol. These pieces clog up the small arteries. The smallest artery is the size of one of these round red blood cells. So this one over here can clog a capillary preventing this from coming in. That's where hearts are clogged up with cholesterol pieces. That's where brain clots happen. And these are blockages that happen from these pieces. Bacteria continue increasing the acidity, making the problem worse. Here's a white blood cell, it looks very unhealthy. This short video shows how live blood microscopy can be used to help people. It can reveal the state of people's blood, reflecting their state of health. It can demonstrate how careful food supplementation can lead to significant changes in the blood and to better health. Live blood microscopy is a method which can be used to assess a person's nutritional status. It is also a powerful tool for patient education and motivation. The first blood we see is the blood of a 46-year-old woman at her first visit. She presented with severe fatigue and has been having severe migraines for nine years. Often the migraines will last up to five days. She suffers with irritable bowel syndrome. She has poor mental function and inability to concentrate and disturbed memory. You can see that the blood cells are very heavily stuck together. They're stuck together in two ways. Firstly, you can see that the cells are stacked one on top of the other. This is called rouleau. These chains of cells are also stuck together in clumps. It's really quite difficult to observe the plasma. But when we can see the plasma, spicules is present. And there is debris in the plasma as well. On her second appointment five months later, the woman was much less fatigued. Her digestion had improved considerably. She was still having migraines, although the migraines were less in number and severity. Her energy was vastly improved. As you can see in the sample, there are more single red blood cells. The red blood cells are more even in size and shape. There is less rouleauing and the blood sample is more open. The chains of rouleaus are less sticky. There are small clumps of cells, but the blood is nowhere near as heavily clumped and rouleaued as it was on the first visit. 